Hi everybody and welcome back to Google Herbal Homestead. Today we're in the kitchen and we're going to be making my wild mushroom Irish stew. I posted a picture here a couple of weeks ago of the stew on Facebook. Everybody kind of went crazy over it. I didn't have the recipe because I just kind of threw it together. So I went back through, made it again, measured everything out, and today we are going to make it together. Stick around, I'll show you how it's done. All right, the ingredients that we're going to be using today to make the wild mushroom Irish stew, I'm gonna start with a half a pound of stewing beef. This is actually made 100% by plants, and to make that, you're gonna to wanna to get the Satan and Beyond cookbook. There is a replacement for every type of meat you could possibly want in this book. It's amazing, folks. All right, we're gonna cook that in, we're gonna brown that actually, in two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Once that is browned, we are going to add a bottle of Guinness, yum. We're going to add a quart of homemade beef stock, and this is actually also made from plants, and the recipe is in the Satan and Beyond cookbook. Um, we're going to need one cup of a good um, red wine. I prefer Merlot if I'm making um, any type of stew. I really like the flavor. And in that, you're going to add two bay leaves two tablespoons of a spicy ketchup, two tablespoons of, excuse me, two teaspoons of thyme, and two teaspoons of my wild herb blend. This has ramps, wild garlic, wild onions, and garlic mustard. You're also going to need um, a large onion, four carrots and um, I've got six I've got 12 little potatoes um, you could use three big potatoes I like the little ones you just cut them in half and they're ready to go and you're also going to need two more tablespoons of olive oil and two more tablespoons of butter to saute your veggies in and then um, you're going to want about a half pound of mushrooms, uh, dried mushrooms, and we're going to rehydrate these and fry them up and get them in our stew. That's all you're going to need. First thing we want to do today, fill up your sink with water. You wash your dishes as you bake and cook makes things so much simpler. And now on to the wild mushroom Irish stew recipe. What we're gonna do is get our skillet on a medium high flame. And we are going to add in our two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil. Let this melt down. I use a plant-based butter, um, so there's no dairy, no allergens in it. All right, now that we've got a little boil going on here, add our meat chunks. nice even coat in the butter oil mixture. And you want to spread everything out evenly because you want to turn these so all the sides get brown. get all of your meat chunks brown, you are going to add 
one cup of red wine. I don't recommend using cooking wine. I mean, if you're not going to drink it yourself, why put it in your recipes? So get a good red wine. Um, I like the Sonoma County Storyteller Merlot. Wonderful. I'm going to put one cup in here. tablespoons of a spicy ketchup. Um, you can use tomato sauce. Uh, you can use regular ketchup if you don't like the spicy. I prefer a little bit of spice in it. down at the bottom. Um, if you just tilt your jar sideways, the bottom, the solids will stay in the jar and you get all the juices. All right. Now we are going to cover this and let it cook for an hour and a half um, on low heat. You just want it to simmer. While this is simmering, we are going to get the vegetables ready. And now for the vegetables, we are going to clean the tops and ends of our carrots here. And we have a bowl for our scraps because they will go to our compost. These carrots are a little old, so they're a little soft. But they'll still work just fine. Get all of it, just the majority of 
bite sized little pieces. That's good. There's our bowl here. Okay. Onion. I'm going to also put in the bite sized pieces. Sometimes I put it in compost and sometimes I will make my stock, my veggie stocks from these leftovers. Just cut it in half. And just give like three pieces, that's good. My size chunks. Danger. Potatoes, these have already been washed. All you could do is cut quarters, halves, depending on what size you want. You don't have to use gold or red potatoes. Um, you can use just russets. I like the diversity and the different tastes and textures of the potatoes, so that's why I use these. in the wash and we'll get these on the stove. All right next we are going to put our two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of oil into a pan and let that melt down and we're going to add our veggies and let them cook for and get caramelized for about 20 minutes. And I'll show you what those look like when they're ready to come out the pan. Alright, once you get your veggies in here, give them a nice generous sprinkle of salt. Give them a turn to evenly coat the oil butter mixture. Just going to let this cook down and get all caramely for about 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to take our mushrooms and add some cold water to them to reconstitute them. And we will just let them soak in here for the 20 minutes while this is cooking and we will rinse the water out here after and get them frying as well. Get a nice caramelization going here. And the smell is magnanimous. Veggie Griffin right here. I'm using my pan on my cast iron. Using my lid on my cast iron pan. So just use some foil tent over the top of that. Works great. I'll show you a piece of this plant beef. Look at that, yo. Oh, the smell is fantastic. Look at that. You just want to sink your teeth right into that. Okay, now that we have rehydrated our mushrooms, I'm just going to wring it out and give them a, a rough chop, put them in another container. That's all there is to that. Bring them out, and cut them. Now this liquid, we're going to want to keep that because this makes a wonderful gravy. Ring, chop, repeat. Delicious morel mushrooms. We forged last year. Okay, now I've removed the vegetables from the pan. And I'm just going to add about another tablespoon of olive oil. And add 
are cut up pieces of mushroom. You can add any type of mushrooms. Or you can omit the mushrooms. We're just going to saute them for about five minutes. Because they will finish cooking in the oven. From our meat and juice mixture, I want to take out about a half a cup of this liquid. To reserve to make my roux with. I'm just going to set that to the side. And now to the pan with the mushrooms, we are going to add this mixture. Look at that. Meat, Joe. I like to take out my bay leaves. Two, make sure you got both. Gonna add back our vegetables so we know how much this is going to incorporate and thicken the liquid. I'll let it cook on low on the stove for about 10-15 minutes because the, tato the potatoes will add, act as a, a thickening agent in itself. So you don't want to add too much thickener. So we'll give this a little bit of time to see what it does on its own. Look at that, yo. It's delicious looking. It smells phenomenal. Alright, we'll give it 10 minutes and We'll bring you back and show you how to make the roux and go from there. And as you can see, the sauce is thickened up quite a bit on its own, so I won't have to add as much thickener. So what we're going to do is in a bowl, we are going to add some arrowroot. I prefer using arrowroot um, as opposed to flour multiple reasons. Um, it's full of potassium, B vitamins, iron, uh, helps your immune system. Overall, great. Great, great. I'm going to take a teaspoon, put it into a bowl, and then whisk in the reserved liquid we took out a little bit ago and get that a nice stir so incorporate everything together Light. It's, it's not heavy like a normal gravy. It makes a nice, beautiful sauce. Now, looks good to me. You can make it as thick or as thin as you'd like. You don't even have to add any thickener if you choose not to. already done this. We need to have the oven on at 350. Get a covered dish. We're going to put all of this goodness 
into our It's a little messy. to put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. All right, and how to cut this to make it into a bowl. S slide your knife in slant ways. Go around here. You should able to pop the top right out and then to clean up the edges just go straight down around the inside edge making sure not to go not to touch the bottom just go in uh, about a half an inch or so above the top of the bottom of the bowl and then you can just pull this out We're going to save these and make croutons out of them. There's your bowl. Now what you're going to want to do with this is to brush it with um, herbed olive oil. And to make the herbal olive oil, I am going to take a quarter teaspoon of my wild herb blend. Mix that with some EVOO. And just give her a little stir. And we are going to base the inside of this. Give her a nice coat. All on the inside. Dab her on down in there. Give her a little wash on the outside. Then we're going to pop this in the oven for 10 minutes. Parsley here. Parsley on the top. Bam. Wild mushroom Irish stew. 